Okay, welcome to the video on the ICOM 9700 programming FM repeaters in manually. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is change from VFO to memory. So you're going to hit the button over here, uh, VFO memory. All right, and then you're going to want to select what memory you're going to want to store this in. So we're going to do that first. So in this case, I want to store it in memory slot number 49. So go up here to 49. All right, now that you've done that, we're going to enter the frequency. And we're going to enter it manually, be a little quicker that way. In this case, it's uh, 146715, local repeater here near me. And we're going to hit enter. So now we've got the frequency we want. Next thing we're going to do is do the offset. So you're going to go ahead and hit function. You're going to go to menu item 2. And you'll see up here duplex. That's your offset. So right now it's actually on a negative. That's actually what we want. But I'll show you what it is. If you hit it again, you go to positive. Hit it again, you go to off. But in this case, we want it on the negative offset. Okay. So we got that taken care of. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the CTCSS code and tone. So we're going to hit tone here. We're going to turn it on. And in order to put the code in, we're going to hold it down. And you see the tone over here, and you just use the main dial. And in this case, we want to go to 103.5. Okay. Once you've done that, you can hit function again. And you can exit out or what have you. There we go. All right. So before we go ahead and save it, let's make sure everything's working correctly. I'll turn the volume up here a little bit and see what happens. K4 BBC testing. K4 BBC testing. Okay, everything seems to be working great. The next thing we want to do is we're going to, in order now to, to store this in 40, on uh, memory number 49, you're going to click it, and you're going to hold down memory right for just a moment until you see the blank disappear. Now that memory is now saved. Now, to put an alphanumeric tag on there, you're going to go to menu, you're going to go to memory, and if you see it, it automatically pops up. So you're going to hit the icon over here, and you're going to write edit name. And in this case, um, this is uh, I'm in Point Siena, Florida, so we're going to name this the Point Siena Repeater. So let me put that in real fast. And you can put repeater, or you can title it however you want. I'll put, uh, there we go. And you hit enter, and it's saved. Now, if you notice, we go back to the main screen, you'll see you're in memory channel number 49, and you have the point C on a repeater. That's where the, the name, the alphanumeric tag shows up. So that's how to do uh, a two meter. It's not much different, obviously, for a 70 centimeter, but we'll go ahead and do one of those two. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch it around here. Now we're gonna put in VFOA. And then we're gonna, again, we're gonna switch this to memory. So you're gonna hit the VFO memory button. And in this case, we're going to store memory. We're going to make this channel 60. Okay. So let's go to 60. That's the one we're going to want to do. All right. And now we're going to put the frequency in. And we're going to do it manually. And this frequency is 444625. Also a very uh, popular repeater around me. All right. So we got that in. Uh, we don't really need a preamp. I'm not sure what that's on. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to hit function, and we're going to turn the tone. Well, first we're going to set, well, let's do the offset. So on this repeater, the Davenport repeater here, it's a positive offset. So we'll kick duplex until we get to positive. There we go, positive. And then we'll go back and we'll set the tone. Again, turn the tone on, and then once you have it on, it shows tone, no longer shows off. You're going to hold this down for a moment. And we're going to put the tone in. And for this particular teeter, it or for this particular repeater, it's 127.3. So we'll just rotate the dial till we get to 127.3. There we go. You can hit exit at that point. And let's go ahead and test this repeater too to make sure it's working properly. K4 BBC testing. K4 BBC testing. And there you go. That's in. So now we're going to hit. We're going to click the memory. We're going to hold down the memory white button for a moment till the blank disappears. And now that memory channel is also stored in there. And if we want to go ahead and put an alphanumeric tag on there, go to memory, 
Again, it will automatically usually pop up or you can scroll to find it. Click that. This particular repeater is a Davenport repeater near me. So we'll write in Davenport. And you can put repeater if you want or whatever you want to put for the tag. In this case, we'll put Davenport repeater and hit enter. And we'll exit out of this. And now you'll see we got the Davenport repeater and we have the Point Sienna repeater. So that's a real quick video here uh, how to program in manually FM repeaters. There might be a couple other ways uh, to also put in an FM repeater. Um, I'm new to this radio, so it's going to take me a little while. But if I figure out there's another way or maybe an easier way, I'll go ahead and post that video also. So coming up next, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on how to program in your hotspot on for D-Star on the ICOM 9700. So look forward to that video. Again, guys, thanks for watching so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out, helps out the channel. And uh, appreciate it so much, guys. 73s from K4BBC. You guys take care.